Jonathan. I am back with Express Success, episode number two. Get a little brighter there. The seller. Um, look, you're an agent. You probably work with plenty of sellers. Even if you haven't, you're going to come into contact with different sellers. But in the context of Express Offers, the way that you work with sellers may be a little bit different than you're used to. Um, so depending on if you know this is going to be an option when you go in there, which you should because you're not going to present express offers as an option unless you're sure that this property matches the buy box. Of course, you're not going to be sure if the formula works until you get there, but at least everything else matches. It's, it's not, it doesn't have any of the no principles that they've said. So that's the most important thing when we're talking about sellers in the context of express offers is you have to know that everything else besides the price aspect suits the buy box before you get there. Then once you know that, you can work it into the conversation or if it's already been a pre-planned, if, if they already know that you're coming to pitch express offers, then you can come in hot on that. Um, so your off-market seller, if we're talking off-market, although most can come from either way, but like I said in episode one, the iBuyer, MLS properties are not great for the iBuyer. They've seen them, they have MLS access, it's not gonna be anything new. So the more off-market properties that you can deliver, the better chance that you're gonna be serving them something that they haven't had before. So, but let's talk about the seller. So your, your general pitch to a seller for the Express Offers program, it's definitely suited for someone who, what, it wants a cash offer, right? But they can't expect market value. So there's really no point in going through the charade if somebody wants 400000 and you know the house is as is worth less or it's only worth that. Even if it's worth 400000 that is of no interest to an iBuyer. There's nobody on the platform who's gonna be an iBuyer who is looking to buy from a seller at 100% of value. That's not a value play for them. So you're looking in your head, you need to always, always with the seller be thinking of 70% of its current value. And they need to know that going in. That the iBuyer is bringing, this is your pitch to the seller, the iBuyer is bringing something great to the table. They're bringing you a pile of cash money and very, very limited activity. You're not gonna have to do showings. They're not actually gonna come to see it. I'm just gonna take pictures here today. There's a certain amount of pictures that they want me to take. I need to take pictures of those certain things and deliver them. I need to take pictures of any potential repairs just so they're aware, because I'm telling you, they're not coming to look at it. They're gonna trust me, trust my photos, trust the documentation that I send them based on the value. Based on that, hopefully, not definitely, never guarantee, hopefully they will make you a cash offer. I can't guarantee you how high or low it's going to be, but hopefully you will get a cash offer. And at that point, you just have a decision to make. You can take yes or no. It's not gonna be a negotiation. So they're gonna make you an offer, hopefully, and you can decide to take it. And if you don't, if you don't get an offer, or if you don't take it, then we can discuss all the other options that are available to you. But Mr. Seller, Mrs. Seller, a state, whoever is involved, once you know what their goals are, you know how to present um, the express offer as a solution. So in the case of an estate, that's gonna be different. You have to think that if the seller is an estate, which will come up for this program a lot, uh, if you have multiple heirs, you're in a much more difficult situation. That means you have to convince each and every one of them of the same thing. And there's usually, if there's three heirs, one wants market value, one wants quick cash. This is how things go. It's how you learn if you deal with probate estates. Um, so every seller conference for express offers is a different pitch, to be honest with you. I know that makes it sound difficult, but it actually is. Because the way that you sell the program of express offers is based on the needs of the seller. If the seller needs quick cash and they're almost in foreclosure, you have to see if the numbers work where they can get out of that deal with more cash. If they owe 150, you have to make sure that the deal will work. If they get something, you're hoping that you can present it and it's gonna look something more like 160. So at least they can walk away with some money because if you get them less, the bank's never gonna do that deal if they're almost close to foreclosure. So again, estates, 
or just a regular person, they're going to have to be adjusting to the 70% of value, and you're going to have to convince them in advance that you're going to need to do a little bit of activity in there. But your main pitch is, look, we don't have to go on the market. You don't have to have an open house. You don't have to have a lockbox. You don't have to put a sign in, in, in the yard. So nobody in your neighborhood uh, are going to know that your place is for sale. Your tenants won't know unless you announce me as the agent is coming to take pictures. It could be an insurance agent. For you guys who do not work off market, if you are working with a seller who is interested in a cash offer, who has tenants in the property, your best bet is to be an insurance agent. You come and you take pictures to document it and then you submit it all later and you don't talk to the tenants at all. You just go through and do what you're supposed to do. So that's a pro tip. Um, it's the best way to get through without the tenants panicking and you'll have a lot of sellers who do not want you to tip off the tenants that uh, they're gonna sell. Um, but if you can get them a cash offer by being the insurance agent and just documenting it with photos, you will be in great shape and they will definitely appreciate that perspective. So the seller on the important things that you need to know about the seller when you go into this express offer situation and really any off market seller is, is where are they going? What is their motivation? Are they going to Florida? Do they wanna to get to Florida? How can you help them get to Florida? Do they need to go quick? Uh, did, some, did one party pass away and the other's there and, and they don't wanna live there anymore? Um, what's the primary motivation? Do they need the money? Do they not need the money? If they don't need the money, their motivation is less, but maybe there's something else that's motivating. They wanna get closer to their kids. So the only way that you know the best way to explain the program is by knowing what their pain point is and how you can help them. Not how you can get the deal, how you can actually help them. And you can help them dramatically by working express offers the correct way. Because you can get them, in, in a lot of markets, you can get them multiple cash offers so they have options. And then you can use the net sheet to explain, this is how much more you may get on the market, but this is a lot easier. You know, no sign, no open house, no showings. You don't have to move your stuff. If your place is a mess, nobody cares. The eye buyer doesn't care if you're messy or if you're a hoarder. Just leave all your stuff. They don't care. And the best thing about most eye buyers in the program is they will close at the time as quickly or as late as the people like, as long as the deal is great. Um, so you have a lot of options. Um, but I'm just telling you the best tip for the seller to work the Express Offers program is one, your pitch is never exactly the same. You cannot pitch express offers the same way to every off-market seller. A distressed seller is different than uh, an old seller. A probate uh, heirs are much different than somebody who just needs to clear some money to do something else. So you learn the express offers pitch, but you, you really need to learn about the seller first. It's always people first. Thanks, you guys, that was number two. Next time, Number three, Express Offers, the tool. Thanks, guys. Yeah.